Dear Madam Chair, Secretary General, Excellencies, Industry Colleagues, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening from Dubai. It's a real privilege for me to offer some views on the issues arising from the emergence of new telecommunication and ICT service and technologies for which we require future-friendly policies and evidence-based regulatory regimes. In the current times, our collective efforts need impactful outcomes, which should be as equally connected to the success of governments as well as the success and sustainability of the private sector. There are many opportunities where emergent technologies that scale on broadband networks and which drive digital transformation can be leveraged to contribute to addressing some of the most pressing challenges across many sectors and society. First and foremost, 3.6 billion people of the world remain offline and need to be connected. This requires tremendous collective efforts for all ecosystem stakeholders, including investment resources, new methods and mechanics, and most importantly, a multilaterally driven collaborative mindset that must prevail across the board. Policymakers and regulators face the challenging task of adopting new and innovative collaborative regulatory frameworks, including regulatory sandboxes, sustainable financial approaches to providing universal digital access, better cross-border data policies, and many more set against the backdrop of a changing world where old frameworks, policy, and models no longer hold or fail to address what they were created for. Given the global nature of the digital economy and its trends, it's imperative that there be global level responses to the connectivity gap and to data governance to ensure that no one is left behind, requiring an objective-minded realignment of shared priorities and responsibilities. In this regard, Madam Chair, I would like to stress upon two particularly important aspects for future policy making and governance. This relates to the need for, number one, firstly, innovative and sustainable funding, financing, and investment models that are broader and include contributors, and predictable and sustainable contribution from all those that benefit from the investment. Here, it gives me an immense pleasure to share with you that the UN Broadband Commission has released a new report which points to some important recommendation that may help overcome the shortage of required information and knowledge to deal with prevailing connectivity provision and funding issues. And secondly, globally harmonized middle ground approaches to cross-border data flow and better governance as the expansion of data flows matter for a more equitable and sustainable way of digital transformation and achievement of many of the SDGs. As we approach uh, 2022, it is time to reflect and focus our effort on building better communication services that are inclusive, providing enhanced digital experiences, increasing business productivity and fostering sustainable investment. And to conclude in this regard, it is almost inevitable that we should also focus specifically on the need for reducing taxation and increasing incentives in investment, adopting future-friendly spectrum allocation and approaches and rectif uh, rectification of spectrum interference issues and supporting innovation in the creation, adoption, and championing by the government of new digital services. With this, I conclude my note and wish to extend in advance a very happy new year to you all with best wishes for your health and well-being. Thank you, Madam Chair.